What's up, Leisure Nation? I'm Cliff, and welcome to Mixing 101. Today we're gonna to show you how to make a Leisureman's Mai Tai. It's our newest flavor, and it's super delicious, reminiscent of the islands. All you need is a jar of our Mai Tai mix, which makes 16 Mai Tais, a handful of single serves, as well as some white rum, some dark rum, and a little bit of water. So, let's get to it. Inside of each one of our jars, we give you a scoop, and the Mai Tai, we give you this nice dedicated scoop so you don't have to have any guesswork about it. And you're gonna to wanna to use two heaping scoops of our Mai Tai mix to make a Mai Tai. That simple, no extra ingredients, nothing like that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna add two ounces of water to that. And we're using some high quality H2O today. And definitely make sure you use a jigger or a measuring device to measure that out. So two ounces of water goes in there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about our spirits while we dissolve it. You're gonna to wanna to dissolve it for about 35 to 40 seconds. And the thing about the Mai Tai, since we use all natural ingredients, is it might not dissolve all the way because there's very natural ingredients inside of there. So just swill it around a little bit till it's close to being dissolved and you should be good to go. So the spirits we're using today are, our white rum is Roulaison. They are out of New Orleans and they make delicious rums and all kinds of great spirits like that. And we're using our dark rum from Three Roll Estates. They're based out of Baton Rouge. And look, try and keep it as local as you guys can. Support those local distilleries that are making awesome spirits and awesome products. So after you're done dissolving, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna add half an ounce of your dark rum and half an ounce of your white rum. And you may be asking yourself, well, can I just use white or dark rum? The answer is absolutely yes. But we found that the mixture of both the white and dark is not only traditional, but yet gives you the best flavor inside of this Mai Tai. And look, don't be stingy on your spirits. Definitely enjoy them and drink your drinks heavy. So what we do after that is we like to mix it all around and we add a fair amount of ice to our Mai Tais. You can shake them, you can stir them. And what we do after that is we got our really fancy tiki stirs. We stir it around, leave that tiki stir in there, get you a tiki glass and enjoy a Mai Tai. Cheers. Absolutely delicious. Before we part today, we wanna to make sure that you guys drink local, shop local, dine local, eat local, well, whatever you do, make sure it's local. Support these guys doing awesome things and making awesome products. Till next episode, cheers, Leisure Nation.